Okay, so when I was looking online, really couldn't find anything too straightforward that just gets to the point of scaling in PDFs and referencing, pulling measurements, um, redlining, um, other than sketching within Morfolio Trace. So what you're gonna do uh, when you open up the program, you're gonna go to custom, and then wherever your file is saved, uh, be it your cloud drive, select, you're gonna bring in this example plan. And so now it prompts you to give you uh, different types of scaling measurements to bring in. If your document's pre-scaled, you select whichever, in this case, it's an eighth of an inch equals one foot, and boom, PDF's in. Now this does have a dimensional control plan already, but what you can see is when the plan's in, your ruler, it's in feet, eight foot here, eight foot, 16, corresponds correctly. And then from here, uh, it's just like any type of, uh, you know, sketching software, Photoshop, anything like that, where you do have a layer options to overlay layers. Um, and there's different settings that you can go through to adjust that, but just, you know, high level marking things up. Um, boom, however you want to do it. Um, it's also a multiple sheet index or multiple sheet binder. Landscape. Same with this, mark this up. And then from there you can export the whole deck to share it. This gives you different resolution options. There's also formatting options, PDF. Um, it does retain the text editability if you do the multi-page export but your markup since this is not a vector file uh, program it's going to be in a raster image so you're not going to be able to edit your redline comments or anything like that in an adobe acrobat or anything like that um, other option image best uh, 4k three two projects uh, Morfolio trace file in case you want to collaborate with other people that have this then you can of course edit the markups in that way So we'll just go to PDFs Best share and then it prompts you once it loads and exports Here we go Send via text if you're you know, Airdrop to your PC and everything comes in scale too so you don't have to rescale you can print plot however you're gonna do it um, at the true eighth scale or whatever the document scale is. And so then there may be another situation where you bring in a document, let's say you don't know the scale. And again, I'm just gonna use this as an example. So just true one to one. And so as long as the document does have a measurement pulled, you can scale everything in a different way. So we're gonna take the swimming pool here, 17 feet. Boom. 17. 17 foot. Good to go. Scale registers. There you go. 16, 17. Yeah. And another thing, if so right now the layer is preset to the actual uh, document size. If you want to resize that or do a smaller layer, you can change your settings to however your layer gets brought in, either to the viewport or you can keep the consistent size. But what will happen is if you have an area that you're just going to annotate by itself, if you reduce your viewport size, your line work pixelation is less reduce this down yeah there we go original where the layer is the document size and then 
Hope this helps. If you have any other questions, let me know.